Moodle is a course management system, or CMS for short. At the University of Minnesota, it's been primarily used for teaching academic courses, but it can also be used by students or organizations to host their public sites or for training. Moodle is different from other course management systems because it was designed to encourage online learning communities. It has collaboration tools bit built right in, such as peer review assignments, discussion forums, and wikis. Now, to access your site, you go to the U of M portal. The URL for that is myu.umn.edu. If you're not logged in, you'll be asked to log in, so use your internet ID and password. Then once you're there, click on the My Courses and Teaching tab. And all of the courses that you have access to will be listed under the active or one of the other tabs. Now you can use any web browser to access Moodle but we recommend that you stick to Firefox and if you don't have Firefox installed you can download it for free from mozilla.org. Now let's take a quick look at a sample Moodle 2.0 site and this is the Cooking with Chocolate site, as you can see, and that's the home page for the site. The, the page is broken up into three major sections. You have some blocks on the left and then on the right-hand side, and then you have your main content in the middle. The blocks that you see and the placement of these blocks, it maybe it's different um, in every class. It really depends on how your instructor sets that up. So you might see the activities blog here that has links to assignments, chats, and forums. You might see this navigation block that would list links to other sites that you have access to on Moodle or other places on the Moodle server. Participants will list your classmates. Now you will always have the settings block. It will and it will always appear on the left hand side on the top. And the settings block is your friend because it has a link to your grades. That's where you go to check your grades. The middle section is broken into these little chunks here and those can be listed by section numbers or your instructor might have a weekly format so that's what you would see here so these are all sections and the kinds of links that you see here are links to documents like PDF files you might have a link to a PowerPoint f file and then you will also find links to activities and these are things that let you interact with other students and or your instructor so those could be forums, those could be quizzes or assignments for your class. And finally, at the top of the page, on this header, um, you will have yellow links. And one of them is the support site for Moodle. And then there's also links to libraries or the MyU portal. Now let's take a look at how you would navigate around your Moodle site. To access any of your links or activities, you would just click on one of the links and that would take you there. And to get back home, you could either use the breadcrumbs at the top here just by clicking on just click on one of those links or let's say you're in some other file, you can also use this navigation block to get back home. So under my courses just click on your site title and this will take you home. Now if you want to if you have a lot of content and if you want to minimize all the scrolling you can hide sections. So let's say I'm on section 2 and that's all I want to see. I can click on this little minus icon and right now all I'm seeing is the section 2 and I can use the jump to menu then to go to other sections. I can turn my sections back on by 
clicking on this icon again. If the screen seems too cluttered to you, you can also free up some space by moving the blocks to the dock. So for example, I can take this people block and I use an, I click on this little icon with the blue line and now you can see that my people's block is on the left side so it's docked and I can dock all of my blocks if I wanted to. So there they are and I can just access them from this dock on the side. To undock to get back all of my blocks, I'll just click on the undock icon and it's at the lower left. Undock all. So there they are. I have my blocks back. When you access Moodle for the first time, you should set up your your personal preferences, your personal profile. And to do this, look up on the header here. Your name is listed as a link. So click on that link and this will take you to your profile page. Here's some default information here, a default picture which you can change. So to edit your profile, click Edit Profile on the left under Settings. And this will take you to another page where you can modify your profile. One of the things you can do is um, change your email display settings. So if you wanted to hide your email from everyone, you can do that. You can also change your forum notification settings. So if you didn't want to receive automatic updates from posts, you can disable that too. But I'm going to leave mine on. You can also upload a picture, your user picture. And if you notice, there are some places might have those little question marks listed in a circle and this means help is available for this option. So you can click on this um, question mark and it will give you a little pop-up window where you can get help. So once you're done setting up your profile, don't forget to save, update profile, and this will take you back.